Eric's taken me to the studio where he records his excellent show with Vec Eric. I'm just hoping I make for a halfway decent sous chef. I have a job for you. You're gonna find whatever uh, you're gonna drink. Wine. Okay. I've got the important job. I know you're a red wine guy, but since I'm the guest, I get to pick white. I hope you don't mind. You can pick whatever you want. What's the grape on this? It's a Bordeaux? Yeah, I like that one. Malartic de la Gravière is good. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna start with the scallops. It's gonna be marinated scallops. We wanna keep the flavors of the scallop like very vibrant. Yeah. So we are going to do a kind of a flash marination. As a chef, Eric could not have been more classically trained. But over the years, he's developed his own unique, innovative style to the point that he's literally changed the way we perceive food. So Gilbert, when he opened Le Bernardin, actually they created the tuna carpaccio. It didn't exist. Nobody thought about making a tuna carpaccio before. Yeah. The Italians were doing it with beef, but it was a premiere for New York. Like people were discovering that raw fish can taste really good. Seafood restaurants before Le Bernardin were basically very casual places, the plastic crabs. Yeah. And I think Gilbert Le had his own vision about it. And then I, I went with my vision to impose style. So this is just a scallop a piece. It's just like a little... Amuse bouche. Amuse oh, yeah, bouche, yeah. a little tease. So that's a nice watch. What kind of watch is that? Uh, that's a Vacheron Constantin. Did you buy it for yourself or is that a present? I bought it for myself. It's a collectible. It's only 150 of them. Oh, really? Yeah, I collect watches. You do? Yes. How many do you have? Seven. This one is my favorite one because it's the simplest one. Mm -hmm. It's pure platinum. Oh, it's beautiful. It's kind of like your food. Very simple, but very sort of elegant well, and luxurious. You, you, if you use platinum, you don't have to go complicated. Yeah. It's exactly with the same with the ingredients. If you have the beautiful ingredients like we do now, you don't have to go very complicated. Keep it simple. You just Keep, keep it simple. One thing that makes Eric so good at what he does is that he's able to distill so many influences and philosophies into a single vision. So when did you start traveling to say, I need to see the world to be a better chef? I started Le Bernard in 91. In 92, I was traveling already. Right. I went to Peru mm -hmm. and I had a revelation in Peru because the way they treated fish was absolutely amazing. It was um, Asia is meeting South America. So Peru was very influential. Peru for sure. What about Asia? You know, they are, the Japanese especially are mm -hmm. the kings for seafood. Yeah, I mean, everything has to be the are, highest they quality. Are, they are the best. You got, you got introduced to Buddhism years ago. Do you think it maybe affects the way you conduct yourself in the kitchen? Oh, the for way sure. Well, Buddhism is a, it's a personal journey. Mm -hmm. It brings, I mean, for me, a different appreciation for uh, the products and for the life that is sacrifice, basically. Mm -hmm. The way I treat people is definitely different than 10 years ago, because there's so many things going on in the kitchen, but you don't want to lose control of yourself, neither the team. So in our kitchen today, when I talk to people, I apply a certain tone of a voice, which has, be, has to be powerful. All right, on to the main course. Now, Eric's obviously got a firm style in the kitchen, so I'm gonna to try to hold my own and not disappoint him. A dish like this, is this a type of dish you'd make at your own home, whether you're out in Sag Harbor or here in Manhattan? Uh, I could actually, yeah. It's something that is fairly simple. I'm gonna add the corn with the mushroom. Okay. I would never think corn and mushrooms together. I would always think I, corn, tomatoes, basil, that thing. You know, I have never thought of it either. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> we'll find out if it works. In my head, I imagine flavors. Mm -hmm. Exactly like a, a painter would yeah. imagine colors. Or, yeah. So the corn, it's right. pretty neutral, and I'm not taking a, like a huge risk with it. The type of food you cook at La Bernardin, it's certainly not simple, but it kind of gives that impression of being simple. The flavors uh -huh. of the fish are very subtle, and it's very easy to kill the flavor of the fish. So you always have to be very gentle when you cook fish. You know, what you have to learn is to stop and always think about editing, not adding one extra ingredient. Uh -huh. So, well, they always say, like, uh, before you walk out of the house, always take off one item. You're always wearing one thing too many. Something like that. I think that was Coco Chanel. That could be wrong. Yeah, she could have been a good cook. Maybe um, she was. But she was certainly a good designer. Yes. All right, let's talk the important stuff. we got to talk hair, Eric. Huh? Hair. We yeah, need to talk what, hair. What happened with the hair? When, when did you start going gray? When I started at Le Bernardin, in three months, I became white. Really? Just like that? Just like that. I don't know what it was because I didn't feel the effect of the stress or anything. Did you ever think uh, about dying? No. No. I never thought about dying. I never care about it. I have never been stressed over it. How often do you get a cut? Uh, that's the big drama. 
<laughs> because I never have time to go get an haircut. You know what I do at one point? I have the hair that's long, so I, I twist it and then I cut it like that. <laughs> Just to tell you how much I care. What about your wife? Does she like it long, short? She loves me. She loves you. <laughs> what do you want in the kitchen, typically? If you're working and you're going out in the dining room, what do I you wear? Wearing? I wear jeans. Because sometimes people come to the Bernardin and they think, you know, it's intimidating for them and so on. So I want to just break the ice and say, hey, we are cool, you know, it's, it's fine. So this what? is Wondra flower. It's super fine? Super fine flower. It will help to create a crust on the fish. Then you need a very hot pan. And you see, when the fish is very fresh, it shrinks. Uh -huh. See, I need to press, but pretty firmly until the skin, because the skin is coming back like that. Mm -hmm. the it's fish contracting. Is, it's contracting. Of. And what I want is to have the fish to be flat. So you can do that a little bit. Okay. I'm just adding a tiny bit of um, oil. So you have to adjust all the time when you are cooking. That's what always drives me nuts about recipes. They'll say, do this, cook for 25 minutes. Like, well, if the pan's bigger, if the oven's not the same temperature, press the I'm, fish. I can't just talk. The fish. How do I know I'm not overpressing? Well, if the fish starts to be become flat like a pancake, yeah. or if it starts to break, it's because you have pressed too much. So you see what we want is the fish to be crunchy. So we're going to look here. And you see the skin is it's, not crystal. Yeah, you want that golden brown sort of thing, Golden right? brown. Somehow Eric has managed to make a beautiful dish look so easy. I'm ready to dig in. I'm just going to start if that's OK. Please go ahead. That's damn good. The mushroom brings some earthiness. Yeah. It's good with the fish. You had mushrooms and corn, and mm -hmm. that was basically it. Then we have those tiny potatoes. Those are amazing. Are, they have nothing, they just boil. You want to have very good quality uh, ingredients, to, so the shopping is essential. Uh -huh. And then you want to have something super simple because you don't want to have a production in a, in a house. Sometimes you have friends over, you think every single dish has to be this showstopper. And you, mm -hmm. by the time your friends come over, you're screaming at each other, you're stressed out, you're sweating, you haven't had time to shower. And it's like all of a sudden a dinner party goes from potentially being really fun to being really stressful. As French, we don't shower before. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm happy with the potatoes, I'm happy with the fish, uh, the mushroom and the sauce. I know I took too many mushrooms, but they're damn good. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm continuing thank to you. eat all of them. All right, well, Eric, thank you very much. This no, is delicious. Thank you. It was fantastic. We had a good time. I'm going to go home and I'm going to cook some fish. Great. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you very much.